everybody, this is Kelly at Envy Soap Works. Thank you so much for stopping in to make a, another batch of cold processed soap with me. Today I'm going to be working on a soap that is um, basically for myself. It's something that I wanted to do in bright colors, in my favorite scent, um, because I haven't had my favorite scent in a while. And what that is, is a Victoria's Secret dupe and it is their Heavenly. I adore heavenly i always have i never get sick of it um, like i said i haven't had this particular fragrance in a while so i am definitely ready um, to have my favorite soap back and heavenly is just a very um it's so fresh and so clean smelling it's absolutely beautiful um the name heavenly makes me think of like you know the sky at dawn you know, the sun coming up, the beautiful, you know, colors, pink and purple and just, you know. So what I'm going to do is a very, very exaggerated um, kind of colors of dawn. And what I mean by exaggerated is bright. <laughs> so what I'm going to be doing is I have from all of my colorants that I'm using today from Micah's and more. So this is their powder blue. This is what I'm using as my sky, representing the sky. This is just a beautiful silvery light blue. It's called powder blue. I have their sunflower yellow. And this is uh, just a very beautiful um, bright yellow. I have their violet uh, purple. And I have their marvelous magenta. And this is a neon. And... It is super duper bright. And then I'm going to do jojoba beads here. These are little um, multicolored jojoba beads in all the colors that I have here. So purple, um, pink, yellow, and blue. I think that's going to be really cute in the white part. And what I plan on doing with this um, particular batch is bowl striping and a hanger swirl. So I think that will look really cool with all of these really bright um, colors. And so that is my plan. So, like I said, I think I said this in another one of my videos, when I start into my fall fragrances, I kind of get to feeling stifled <laughs> color-wise, you know, with all the fall, like browns and golds and, you know, oranges and everything. So I... Um, I needed a bright pop of color, and so I decided to treat myself to my favorite, Heavenly. And what I have, if you see my um, oils are a little dark here, it's because I have hemp in this particular um, formulation. This one is um, palm oil, coconut oil, olive oil, avocado oil, mango butter, hemp oil, kokum butter, and castor oil. That's what I have in my batch. And I mixed my, all my colorants are mixed in argon oil, um, not from the batch, that is just additional super fat. Um, so I, I do that most often when I mix my colors. People have been asking me. Um, when I mix my colors, I just use extra oil. I don't discount it, or, you know, I don't take it out of my batch. I don't, you know... Do, yeah, it's just, just extra. It's extra super fat. So that is what I do. And then plus it lets me pick what um, I want, you know, in the soap as a super fat. So argon is a nice, um, a nice soap or a nice oil to have um, remaining like free, free floating in the soap. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get this mixed up to emulsification. In the past, I have not had any issues with this fragrance. It behaves very nicely, so I shouldn't have any issues whatsoever. Okay, and I'm soaping about, I don't know, 85 or 90, somewhere around there. Somewhere around there. Okay, so that is perfect right there. And so I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to do bowl striping and then I will run a hanger through that. That usually gives a really cool, um, really cool swirl in the soap. So that is one of my favorites. Haven't done that in a while. 
I'm trying to go and do um, all the different techniques, you know, so I have a nice variety and I don't get bored. Okay, so I'm going to get this for each of my colors. We'll get that started. I'm excited. And then the jojoba beads are going to go in the white. In the, you know, the main. So I'm going to go ahead and get this poured off. Everybody, so there we go. You can see how bright these colors are. I'm going, like I said, I'm going for a very, very exaggerated um, dawn. <laughs> so I think these colors are just really, really neat, super bright, and I think they're going to look awesome with um, the bowl striping that I have planned for um, the soap. So I am really, really happy with that. Whoops the top on it. I had just a teeny tiny bit left in an old um, Heavenly so I'm going to be a little bit shy on the fragrance oil for um, for the size of my batch but um, that's okay because this it it sticks in the soap pretty well so it is um, I'm just a little teeny tiny bit shy not by much. everything mixed up and I actually got a little bit of ricing with this and it is um, slightly um, thick as well so um, that is a bummer I'm gonna see there's some of them that have ricing like this purple there's ricing in the purple so I'm gonna try to blend this up really quick. Oh, I hate ricing so much. Oh, I absolutely hate ricing. It can destroy the look of your soap if you can't um, get it to blend out smooth. So hopefully this one just blended out smooth. Oh, it's stuck on my and now it's really thick Let's see this one's okay okay so that was weird it was really only the purple that um, reacted so badly so what I'm gonna do now is get my mold be using this one and actually I need to do my bowl striping first so let me get my another bowl so what I'm going to go ahead and do is do my bowl striping 
and I will start with a little bit of white. Little bit of blue. Oh, it's really thick. I don't recall my um, batter behaving this way previously. So that kind of sucks. Look at it's like a rainbow. <laughs> I'm gonna like this, I think. It's so cool. So I'm just gonna continue on and get this in here before it gets any thicker. Okay, everybody, so I have now striped my bowl just how I want it, and what I did was um, I did my colored pores, alternating colors, and then I covered it over with white, and then more color covered it over with white. So there's maybe like five or six um, little rainbows of color uh, with white covering each one in there. So hopefully... That will um, give me a cool look when I go to stripe this. So I'm going to go ahead and do the pour. That is going to be neat. I can tell by the, uh, the way the colors are coming out in the globs. There's going to be sections of that rainbow. Really, really cool. Ooh, I can't wait. I think this is going to look heavenly. I actually do think that this is going to look heavenly. <laughs> uh, either that or like a unicorn. I can't decide which. We'll find out. <laughs> so this is either going to be a little kid's unicorn soap or my very uh, beautiful heaven. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to scrape down my bowl, get everything inside, and then um, just get my remaining colors onto the top. So now that I have my stuff in there, I'm going to go in with my hanger, and I'm going to do little swirly do's, a couple things here and there. Did I just muddy that up like crazy? I don't know. But we'll find out tomorrow. I don't think I did. I think it's going to be great. I think it's going to be great. So, now what I need to do is get uh, all these remaining colors on the top and come up with some sort of, you know, design that is cute. We'll see. You know how I am with my top, so I just kind of whip it on, whip it all on there, and swirl it up quick. I don't spend a whole lot of time fussing with it. It's just whatever I get is what I get, and I'm fine with it. I have for working with on the top here. Just kind of clean up the sides a tiny bit if I can. Okay, so let's see. I just need a little tool of some sort. This will do. Let's see what I can come up with. I don't have full coverage of all the
I do think that the ricing is going to end up being a problem here. Okay, everybody, so this is how Heavenly turned out. I think that is going to be really cute. Let me get this up to you guys. Actually, you can't see that. Let me see if you can see that. Let me just go in. Okay, so that is how the top turned out. It is super cute, super bright, exactly what I was uh, wanting. And so hopefully the swirl that I got inside will make me happy tomorrow. We will be back to cut this. See you then. All right, everybody, we are back with the soap uh, scented in Heavenly. And I'm really, really excited and really curious to find out what um, I have going on inside of this. So I did bowl striping with lots of white um, covering over my colored section each time. And um, I could tell by when I poured it, it was getting a little thicker. Um, so I'm thinking this is going to be really interesting inside. Hopefully a good interesting and not um, something that I'm unhappy with. But I do like these really bright colors. I think it's very, very fun. And you can see all the little jojoba beads um, inside. Now one thing that I did notice on this side, I have those ricing speckles um, so I'm really hoping that there isn't I know that this was ricing a little bit there was a little bit of ricing when I was making this so hopefully it didn't um, ruin the look of my soap inside I have just been having a horrible time with ricing lately um, so hopefully like I said this doesn't ruin this soap because this one um, I made for myself because it is um, such a lovely fragrance. I absolutely love this one. So I really hope that it is one that I'm going to be happy with. Let's find out what kind of swirl we got with that. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look at that. Wow, that is like tie-dye. That is not what I was expecting from this soap. I expected there to be a lot more white section. That is really, really cool. I don't see, I see glycerin rivers, but I don't see that really yucky speckling look of um, ricing. So maybe I got lucky. Wow, look at that cool pattern. That, this one really surprised me. And the top, I think, is so, so cute. How fun. This is really, really cool. I was not um, expecting this look. I thought the colors would be a lot, um, um, not as prominent. I thought there would be a lot more white section. I like that. I think that is really cool. And that neon magenta, it is so much brighter than the other colors that it really, really stands out. And it is so pretty. Oh, and it smells fantastic. If you have never um, used the Heavenly, it is a wonderful, wonderful fragrance. It's not too perfumey. It's just very, very fresh and clean. I love this fragrance. Now this time it um, accelerated a little bit. I haven't ever had that before, so I don't know. I was soaping, I think, a little bit warmer than I normally do. So maybe that had something to do with it, or maybe it was just the oils in my batch. I did have, um, like, cocum butter and, you know, like mango butter some and uh, also baba su, so some really hard oils. So maybe that had something to do with it. But this is a very fun and cool pattern. It reminds me of tie-dye. 
Ooh, this one's neat. You can really see the yellow in this one. How fun. I love the top on this. And it didn't really get much ash on it. I steamed it this morning, but there really wasn't much ash. So by steaming it, it really just kind of gave it a shine. Very cool. So I was going for, like, like I said, an exaggerated, like, dawn colors. But I ended up with a <laughs> tie-dye soap. <laughs> But I do like it. I think it's really neat. <clears throat> Man, just cutting it, I can smell uh, the fragrance. It's, it's stuck really, really nice in the soap. Well, I can't wait for this one to be ready. I don't think I've made a heavenly soap in, for like a year. Oh, that one's pretty. Look at those patterns. Now the colors, it, it's a little muddied up in some sections, but I think the overall look of the soap um, makes it okay. I don't, I don't think it's too, too, too bad. So, this is the last full size piece. Look at that one. That is really pretty. And the top. And then this is just a little end piece. This is a, I can cut this in half and have some really good size uh, samples. So, wow, this one is definitely unique. This is a very interesting, interesting pattern. Very fun. The colors are very fun. I absolutely love the tops of this and so I can't wait for this to be ready I hope you guys enjoyed this one this one was really really fun to do I enjoyed uh, working with these bright colors and um, doing that bull striping that is a really fun technique and you never know what you're gonna get so again thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing I will catch you on the next video bye